Hello and welcome back to Echo. Um, I wanted to get a video out last week, but it didn't end up happening. So here's episode two. To this episode is called uh, Lowak. So I don't know what that means or what that hints towards us having uh, happening in this episode, but we'll find out, shall we? Uh, last time we were introduced to Maya, or reintroduced to Maya, I should say and her situation and we also saw daredevil which was the best part of the episode and i'm hoping for more of that please but yeah now we have maya who is kind of torn between her family and her legacy versus taking revenge or or, or taking uh kind of claiming power so we will have to see how that plays out but i don't know have too much of a preamble for this episode let's just get into it and watch it and see what happens shall we echo episode two you did better than even i expected. feel like dedicated all my she held her own to almost too well that was a well edited recap i gotta say i quite enjoyed that recap okay we're we getting more information on the ancestors i don't think any of those people really know how to Canoe a boat, except for the guy in the front. <laughs> Thousand two hundred AD. Oh, look at that aspect ratio change. It's quite a wide-angle lens as well. That's interesting. They're looking worried. Champion has emerged. Very serious game. Uh, that's Could be... Oh, okay, that's why it's a serious game. They'll be banished. Right, that makes sense. Well, the tide seems to have turned now that the blue guy has come out. Is she the only woman? It looks like she's the only woman on the team. I was thinking it was like a uh, co ed game, but she seems to be the only woman. She's getting the same kind of flashback things that Maya was. Aww. Except Maya has more ancestors to connect with. Was this intro in the first episode? I don't think it was. I really like that song. Ha. <laughs> of course. A sound alarm wouldn't really work well for her, would it? Is she looking for the dog? <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, it's not really an answer, Maya. I feel like it would not incite uh, enthusiasm in me if I asked if it was illegal and then was given a wad of cash. Oh, all my relations. Scully Ickshow, you're getting authentic, <laughs> handmade art from humble Native American artisans. <laughs> I mean. Where does he get all of these uh, cameras from? Extra busy with Maya back in town and all. What? Oh, I was so excited. I don't know. I took Chris to the rink she, she doesn't know. This guy uh, is easily swayed, isn't he? He doesn't really have much of his own backbone at this point. But I guess it is a difficult uh, situation when you're cousin comes back in town after not having seen her for years. What you after? You would know. Interesting framing Nothing in this one. Pass through town without causing any trouble. Yeah, I don't think she's going to do that. <laughs> what is going on? What is she getting him to do? Oh. She's getting on the train, and then I guess she wants him to pick her up. That classic train sequence. Where, is there going to be a tunnel coming? See, I probably would have stood on the thing in the middle and done like a jump thing over it, and that's why I'm not running across trains for a living. Surely he heard that. Well, that was a weird cut. It's the problem with being sneaky when you're deaf, is you can't hear all the noise you're making. She under it now. Girl, 
gonna take a while to cut it into that. Or maybe. Oh, that's right, the camera. Sorry, Grandma! <laughs> uh oh, that's not gonna be good for him, I imagine. <laughs> Please don't leave that in the train. I guess she did cut a hole in the floor of the train, so it's kind of obvious someone is there. <laughs> oh, she's sealing it. Never mind. Now I am worried about the pants legs she ripped off. So they wouldn't have shown that if it wasn't important. What did she find? Ooh! That's expensive. Ooh. She has shiny hand powers. That's cool. Okay, interesting. Oh no! How are you gonna get off the train? Especially with only one functioning leg. That's gonna be hot! Is she gonna jump into the truck? Yeah, there it is! Classic. Classic way to add stakes in a train scene. Girl, what are you doing? You're gonna have to bail. There we go. Did she make it? What kind of damage are we looking at here? Billy Jack, you okay, boy? <laughs> Grandma's gonna kill me. Steer. Yeah, what did she even do? She planted something, maybe? Yeah, here comes the train. I think she's planted something on it. I'm expecting explosives. Yeah. Well, Maya just killed a whole bunch of people. Someone's trying to get hold of whoever this is. I still haven't picked up this guy's name yet. This is fun. Henry, right, yes, that's his name. Give to build. That's pretty neat. That's you can just temporary. make a makeshift prosthetic leg. It. He's getting her to stay longer by telling her it'll take more time. Family in times of need. She's experienced that, right? He's trying to uh, carefully draw her back in. But Maya is still very closed off. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> no trouble. Uh, no trouble at all. I'm okay. Billy oh, Jack's dear. okay. Maya's okay, but the truck is. Oh no, oh, he mentioned Maya. What? <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, that was gonna happen eventually, wasn't it? Over and out. <laughs> don't you dare do this to me. Uh oh, this is what they were going to avoid, but uh it was kind of inevitable, wasn't it? Ooh, that sound was fun. I like her jacket a lot. What were you expecting? Uh oh. Bonnie's found out. And Bonnie's the person close to her. There's something way more intense. Oh, that's the end of the episode? Okay. Um. But there's something way more intense about having an argument in sign language because you don't it's it's an interesting um difference when you have a conversation in sign language versus in spoken language where it's intense and it's dramatic but it's completely silent so you don't have the intensity of sound and and you almost have to pay more attention because everything is in body language and not tone of voice or anything. That was episode two. Getting a bit more of an idea of what's going on. Maya's finding out she has weird ancestor powers or something. Uh, I'm guessing that it's looking like the uh, titles of each episode are about one of her ancestors. So I'm imagining the next episode will be about the the start of it will be 
uh, Wild West era and one of her ancestors there. And then maybe her grandmother? And then the last episode is called Maya. So. Yes, so we have... Maya is killing some folks uh, and blowing up train, uh, sending explosives on trains and uh, yep, she's she's going hard. People are going to get hurt and if they don't then the narrative have set, has set things up for no reason. Um, I like Biscuits, he's a fun character, he's, uh, he's very influenceable but he's a fun character and yeah I'm quite enjoying him uh, I feel like considering that this is episode two of five it I still feel like we I don't really know well, I guess we do kind of have an idea where Maya's trying to get revenge on Fisk um, but it feels like there's a lot that I'm still waiting to happen and considering where you know two-thirds of the way, or not quite two-thirds, quarter of the way, a third of the way through the whole show now. It, uh, it feels like we should be more into it now. I don't know. It, I still feel like something's kind of missing. I am enjoying the slower pace and just kind of exploring the town and the characters and stuff. Um, but knowing that Daredevil is in this and I'm like, is he going to show up again? And every when they cut back to New York, I was like, is he going to show up? Is he is he going to be here? But it was daytime, so probably not. Yeah, I'm. Maya's an interesting character because she's definitely. Well, I was going to say anti-hero, but she's not even that really. She's just out for revenge, which is not my favorite character motivation. Uh, but she's redeemable in that she has people who love her, like. Maya on her own, like, she'd be fun and, you know, fun to watch and everything. Like, watching her on the train was fun. But her goal, I'm not at all connected with. I'm like, revenge girls just aren't that interesting to me. But what is interesting is the people around her who are trying in their own ways to drag, you know, carefully draw her back into the family and out of the trouble she's got herself into. And that makes it a lot more enjoyable to me, uh, and I'm interested to see where they go with that. Anyway, don't have too much to say on this episode. Uh, seeing that the opening scene was a lot of fun, um, the the set design and the the everything on that was great. Although it was a little bit weird with the wide angle lens. Uh, not quite sure why they did that. I guess just to kind of give it a different feel. Because they, they changed the aspect ratio as well and made it uh, fill the whole screen. Whereas the rest of the show was not filled. I forget the... I should know the actual uh, specific names for the different aspect ratios. But I do not. I'm a bad film student. Um, but yeah, the slightly different filming style for that to kind of set it apart. Uh, I can't remember if that happened in the flashback in the first episode or not. Might have to go back and check. Anyway... That'll do it for me. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, that'll do it for me. I don't have too much to say today. Uh, I'm just enjoying the show, you know? It's a fun fun show, fun time. Interesting characters, fun setting. Daredevil might show up. What more do you want? Anyway, that'll do it for me. You guys head off, grab a drink, get a snack, take a nap, go for a walk, go and do something that's not on YouTube. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!